We begin tonight with the Native American tribe's plans to move forward with building a new casino in Carter Lake, even though it still faces a legal challenge in court. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Craig is off tonight. The Ponca tribe says it will build the casino on land it already owns and has an aggressive time frame for getting it up and running. Reporter Alex McLoon has details and reaction. The Ponca tribe wants to have the Prairie Flower Casino up and running near Abbott Drive and Avenue H by late October. While some say it's welcome, others say it's too close to the Sienna Francis house. I hope. The Prairie Flower Casino in Carter Lake, Iowa is taking shape. Members of the Ponca tribe broke ground earlier this summer, something a group against gambling expansion says was a mistake. No, it's not a good thing for anybody, but especially the north side. This is within walking distance of the north side, which is, which is where a lot of our poverty is. It's within walking distance of Creighton University, within walking distance of, of Open Door Mission. Gambling with the Good Life Executive Director Pat Lunger has been trying to stop the casino that's been planned for 24 years. Open Door Mission President Candace Gregory issued a statement in opposition, which reads in part, history says that putting a casino so near to our campus and in such close proximity to such a vulnerable population could usher in an unintended wave of human and economic consequences. Council Bluffs in the states of Iowa and Nebraska have sued the federal officials who approved that casino in an effort to stop it. Luncher says the people of Nebraska have already spoken. It's been on our ballot in Nebraska twice and, and the people in Nebraska said enough is enough. No casinos, no slot machines. The casino plans to hire about 100 people when it opens in October. Despite the opposition, Carter Lake Mayor Ron Cumberledge sees opportunity and growth on the horizon. I mean, this hopefully this economic development over in this area that hasn't seen anything in my lifetime. It's been a vacant grass field. I mean, we're hoping to bring jobs, a little destination, some some recreation, and and a lot of opportunity for that area. The Ponca tribe plans to expand the facility after it opens. Phase one includes a 9,500 square foot space with 200 slots to start. Reporting in studio, Alex McLoon, 3 News Now.